Hello, everyone. So sorry I'm 10 minutes late. Um, hi, I'm so happy to be with everyone. Welcome my Facebook fun friends and welcome to my Instagram friends. You guys are awesome. I am so happy to be here with you today and we're going to talk about a really fun topic, CBD oil. Um, I got lots of notes and I got some articles I'm going to read from. We got some cool things to talk about. Um, <clears throat> but before we get started there, I just want to say thank you. Oh, headphones for Instagram. Um, headphones for Instagram so you guys can hear me because my Instagram is really funky and weird. Let me do that. Um, headphones for Instagram and... Facebook, you guys can hear me great. So here we are. I'm back again. Um, so today we're going to talk about CBD oil, which you guys might know it's called cannabinoid oil. And it's it's a fun, hot topic in the health world right now. But before we dive into that, I just want to again say hi. I'm Amy Ralp, and I really appreciate that you guys are here following me on Instagram and on Facebook. We get new followers all day, every day, and I'm sincerely appreciative of your commitment to me and allowing me into your life and allowing me to share with you some of my, um, my passions and my knowledge and my expertise. And so I thank you so much for letting me be a part of your life. And if you don't know, I've got several books out there all about helping you live your healthiest life. I have my first book was called Chill Out and Get Healthy. It's all about um, living your best life now so that you can age gracefully. Very general book on women's health. And then I wrote Yes, You Can Get Pregnant, which is kind of obvious what that's about. It's about naturally improving your fertility now and even into your 40s. I followed it and got pregnant at 40 with my, um, my baby boy. He's now three. And then my latest book is called Body Belief, and it's how to heal autoimmune diseases, radically shift your health, and learn to love your body more. And that is not just for women, that is also for men, and it's a really important topic. And the CBD conversation ties in really nicely, I think, with the autoimmune conversation and the inflammation conversation that um, it's just so popular today and just so common. You know, we talk about inflammation all the time. I think we overuse the word just like we overuse the word detox or cleanse. Um, you know, it's true inflammation is at the root of most all diseases. And in Chinese medicine, we see a disease as a dis-ease, disharmony, dysfunction in the body. Um, and diseases can be anything from headaches to constipation to cancer, you know, to, to serious illnesses that we know as a disease. But um, in Chinese medicine, we say that disease manifests because energy is blocked. Things aren't properly moving in the body, which can translate kind of loosely to inflammation. Things are stuck. And so it's all the rage today to follow an anti-inflammatory diet to, to reduce inflammation in the body. And it is true. I mean, when we take the burden, the toxic burden off of the body when through the foods we're eating and the you know emotions that we're carrying and the products that we're using, then health has a chance to really thrive. And that is at the basis of everything I teach, right? So it's about bringing the body back into balance and homeostasis, which is a really important approach to whatever it is you're trying to heal or if you're trying to get pregnant or if you're just trying to wake up in the morning and feel refreshed. It's really all about finding that balance and bringing the body back into homeostasis. And inflammation typically plays a role in that because, you know, most of what we do in our life causes inflammation. So stress causes inflammation, right? Some of our toxic bath and beauty products can cause inflammation. Um, the foods we eat can cause inflammation. Whether we sleep too little can cause inflammation. Um, you know, the, the people we surround ourselves with, our work life, um, the chemicals in our environment, you know, too much screen time can cause inflammation. And inflammation is a very general word for basically, um, the way I look at it is there's just a heightened state of like intensity in the body. And that puts the body on this high alert where the stress cascade is more likely to be kicking into gear on a regular basis. And that stress can really impact how we age, how disease manifests itself and how we heal, 
right? So um, curious about CBD oil in children. Someone recommended it for my teething one-year-old. Right. So, Lindsay, that's a good question. Okay, so let me get into this a little bit. Um, <clears throat> so first of all, what is CBD oil? Um, you know, so it's it comes from the marijuana plant. It is. So I think a lot of people have hype around CBD. They think it's pot. They think they're going to get high from it, and it's a drug, and it's illegal. And it's not. Um, this is my CBD oil jar. This is from Charlotte's Web, CW Hemp, one of my favorite CBD companies. Um, and if you want to talk about children and CBD oil, Lindsay, you should go on Charlotte Webb's, the CW Hemp website. They have incredible videos and testimonials about parents using this with their children. Um, but anyway, what is CBD oil? So it does come from the marijuana plant, but keep in mind, you know, THC, which is the active the component in pot, in weed, the stuff that gets us high, is only one part of the marijuana plant. There's there's about 60, they're called canna, cannabinoids. There's about 60 different varieties of them. So, um, you know, hemp is one, CBD is one, right? THC is an active component. So, to keep in mind, there's 60 varieties, and there's only, I think, one that is psychoactive, one that makes us feel high, and that's the THC. But the CBD does not make us high. However, it has, you know, it has a different effect on the body. And so to understand that when you take CBD oil, you will in no way, shape, or form get high. It is in no way, shape, or form illegal. It is just, it's like hemp seeds. So some of, some of you guys know hemp seed protein. You use hemp seeds, right? It's the same thing. We use hemp seeds in Chinese medicine. It's an herb that we use to help with constipation or with any dryness in the body. Um, and so, again, just to be very clear, CBD is not a psychoactive, meaning it is not going to make you high and it is not illegal. Um, if you live in a state where medical marijuana is legal, you can get a medical marijuana card and then you can get um, really good quality CBD oil that is sometimes mixed with THC oil um, in different ratios. So some of those oils can get you a little high or a little buzz, right? But um, but again, if it's a very high CBD ratio, so like they have 10 to 1 ratios where it's 10 CBD oil to 1% um, THC, you're not really going to get high from that. And you're going to get all the benefits of all the oils. So um, what research has shown us, so it's really interesting. We have an area in our, in our brain called the endocannabinoid, canna, I can't say this word, cannabinoid area. Um, and it's a system that helps with regulation, with homeostasis. And it helps with things like sleep and anxiety and our immune system and our gut health and stress levels. So what research is showing us now is that CBD directly affects this endocannabinoid area of our brain and helps with self-regulation in the body. So people are using CBD oil for things like anxiety, things like insomnia, depression, pain, anywhere in the body. Um, it's helpful for women with menstrual pain as well. Um, helps with the immune system. Cancer patients are using it for nausea, vomiting, pain relief, right? So there are there's anti-tumor properties that they're finding now. And that is because CBD has been discovered to be a powerful anti-inflammatory. So it powerfully reduces inflammation in the body. And then it has this self-regulating capability. So it helps your body regulate itself, right? And the reason we have it in our house is for anxiety and insomnia. And it can be very helpful. Um, my husband and I have been taking it regularly for probably two years, I'd say. I don't take it as often, but I take it if there's if I'm feeling very stressed or if um you know, there's a lot on my mind and it's going to impact my sleep that night. I'm aware of that. So I take, you know, a drop I just take as directed and that's what I recommend everybody else take as directed. Um, and I do, I notice a difference. It just kind of soothes me. It takes this edge off. Is it for everyone? I can't say. You'd have to try it and see. Um, so there's an answer there. I know. Is it for children? Like Lindsay's question. Um, a teething one-year-old. I think there's other things you can also do. I, but 
it's non-psychoactive. It comes from a plant. It's medicinal. I don't think it's going to hurt anyone. With children under the age of four, we say to use um, a quarter of a dose of an adult dose. So what I would do, Lindsay, is so there's only a few brands that I really like. It's um, CW Hemp, which is this brand, and then Mary's Medicinals. I think a lot of the other brands, there's probably better brands that are coming out right now, but as far as I'm concerned and who's doing the work research and all these things, I think it's perfectly fine and safe. Um, but I would go on their website and do their research because they usually have the FAQ section, like, is this right for children? Another question over here, is it right for breastfeeding women? Um, you know, for me, again, like, it's non-psychoactive, it's not a drug, it's, it's an herb. What I would approach it the same way I would approach any herb with a child or with a breastfeeding woman, with a woman trying to conceive, um, you know, that I would do it, like for breastfeeding, I would do it in moderation, I would do it after a feed so that it's not in your system for the next feed, right? For a child, same thing, I would, I would consult your, your doctor, um, I would do some research on your own online, and then I would see. Um, you know, and I would try a very small dose. Um, and then <clears throat> another question, is it fine to use while trying to conceive? I actually think the answer is yes. Because of the research that I've looked at and how powerfully anti-inflammatory it can be, I think it can really help women, like those endometriosis cases or the polycystic ovarian syndrome cases where it can really reduce inflammation in the body and help bring that balance of the homeostasis. And then plus, it has this powerful anti-anxiety effect. So that will then calm the nervous system, which should help with conception. The truth is though, this is all um, anecdotal. There is not a ton of research that's out just yet. So I pulled up this one article from US News and Health and it came out in March 2018. Um, you know, and it just is um, CBD oil, uh, you know, a product containing cannabidiol, one of the many chemicals found in the cannabis plant. And so, um, you know, there's, there's research that say, um, you know, people love the CBD oil, right? And we can find it like in our juices to like our lip balm now to protein powders, right? There's all these ways that people are adding it in. It's one of the biggest health trends um, since 2016. There's a ton of money going into it as well because as each state by state is, is, is um, actually legalizing medical marijuana, CBD is becoming very um, financially lucrative for a lot of companies. So the science is that there's, as far as the hardcore science, there's basically one benefit that it can help with children with epilepsy and seizure disorders. That's the CW Help guys have incredible videos and footage on this exact feature. It's it's amazing. You could go and watch their YouTube videos. It'll make you cry. It's absolutely gorgeous. What the hemp, the, what the CBD oil is doing for these children with seizures and um, you know uh, epilepsy. So. Um, it's now, there's preliminary research that holds promises for conditions like Alzheimer's, cancer, psychosis, Parkinson's, um, and the upside is, and children with autism disorder, sorry, anxiety, depression, the other upside about the CBD oil in comparison to, it's a non-pharmaceutical agent and it's non-addictive. So they're using it in addiction rehab centers as well with Patient. So my husband was taking Ambien for sleep, which is a highly addictive substance, um, and I did not want him on it anymore. And so that's when we started playing around with the CBD oil to get him off of a benzodiazepam, which is a highly addictive substance. And I don't want him on Ambien. I think once in a while, fine, if you have a really rough night, you know, to all of you, but I think it's way overprescribed. Um, I think Xanax is way overprescribed. These are both highly addictive substances that have benzodiazepines in them. They're not good for us, so try this instead. That's where we started. And then since now I have a medical marijuana card, um, I get the high ratio of the CBD to the THC. It works wonders, and it's a non-addictive substance. So again, um, you know, we have to look at it in a broad range of things. Like if what you're taking for your anxiety isn't, isn't recommended for pregnancy or breastfeeding or you can't give it to your child, right? try the CBD oil. So the research is still coming out. There's promising sh studies showing things like it's helping as this anti-tumor effect, it's helping with Alzheimer's disease, psychosis, Parkinson's disease, autism spectrum disorders, of course the epilepsy, like I said, anxiety and depression. 
Um, where I first learned about it was a psychotherapist who was a client of mine who told me that she was just at this conference for psychotherapists and they were saying that CBD oil is now considered a first line defense in treating anxiety and depression. So before we go to the Zoloft, before we go to the SSRIs, before we go to obviously the benzodiazepines, the Xanaxes, um, and the, uh, you know, the clonopin, um, I'm forgetting the, the name of the other one, but before we go to that, let's try CBD oil on our clients and let's get a good quality one, okay? So, you know, things to think about. So it, to me, it's like, what is there to lose, right? There, there really aren't any harms in trying um, the CBD oils, um, but, you know, the, the one thing that the study pointed, or this article pointed out is, since CBD is metabolized by the same enzyme in the liver that metabolizes many conventional medicines and supplements, the chemical can cause levels of other drugs in the systems to rise. So in some cases, for those taking a drug to prevent their bodies, you know, uh, like immune system stuff, it can, it can contradict some of these substances. So that's where you really need to talk to your doctor, and you really need to try for you what is right. And it's, it goes back to the same thing that I always say. I'm an herbalist. I never recommend you walk into any drugstore and just take any herb. I think that's reckless, and I think it's wrong. I think you should meet with someone who understands understands the medication and the potential herb interaction, okay? So you got to do your research, and you got to ask a lot of questions, and you really have to know your body. So I don't want you all of a sudden taking high doses of CBD oil in addition to any other pharmaceutical medication that you're on. I'd rather you sit and discuss, preferably with a psychiatrist. There are some really awesome psychiatrists who know everything they need to know about medical marijuana and CBD oil and you can find those guys and you can talk to them okay um, if you have to go and get a medical marijuana card you have to meet with a psychiatrist and they go through all of this and then that's the right person to ask as well so you can find that person you can ask around you can ask your psychiatrist who's ever prescribing your medication to then meet and discuss with someone the impacts of CBD oil um, the one thing I really want to point out is that there's a ton of companies out there right now. They're using different sources, different techniques, different extraction processes. That's what we want to be really careful of. Um, so things that we need to be conscious of when we're, so as I said to you, Mary's Medicinals and CW Hemp, in my opinion, are some of the best products out there. Um, then there's been some random things that have happened where people have gotten sick from the oil, or, um, they got hospitalized, because there's, it's just like any other supplement, there's crack, they put fillers in there, there's, they're, they're not disclosing all the information, so this is where you need to be really, really careful, right? Um, Cap Beauty, that's another really good brand, C-A-P Beauty. So you want to look. Does, you know, and this is, um, there was an interview with the CW Hemp guys, and they talked about, like, these are the things you want to look at. Does the company manufacture its own products? Um, that way they can, you know, it's just like with me with Amy Rock Beauty. I can absorb uh, observe the entire supply chain, right? I, you know, I don't obviously manufacture the shea butter, but I know exactly where that comes from. And then, you know, but so from seed to finished product. You want the plants grown domestically. You want them without pesticides, right? Um, and so a lot of companies out there are buying their finished products from companies that do not have a good processing technique. So you want to do your, so again, I'm, I'm taking the guesswork out, of, out for you. Cat Beauty, CW Hemp, and Mary's Medicinals. And they're not cheap. You know, I think this bottle's like $150. I mean, it'll last you probably two months, but chances are the more expensive the product, the better quality. I mean, that's a generalization, but um, how does the company source its cannabis? So you want to make sure um, you're they're removing the toxins and the heavy metals, right? Um, and you don't want pesticides or harmful chemicals in your product. And then how are they extracting? So it's the same thing with essential oils. Some, some people distill using a, a, a product called hexane, which is highly toxic. So I would never use something that has a hexane in it, right, in any of my skincare products. It's the same thing. How are they extracting? So the goal is that you want it, um, I believe, steam distilled, right? Um, you know, so those are those are questions, you know, and I would head over to the CW Hemp website. They're the... They're, in my opinion, they have the most information on the right products and how to find them. And they they're obviously, they're selling their own products, but they're not pushing specifically their own products. They want people to get good products in their hands, right? Um, 
So some other things that I want to talk about. Um, yeah, it's just the same as the vitamins. So they're not regulated, right? So we don't know for sure who's making sure that there's not pesticides or chemicals in here. So you want to just be careful with your where you're purchasing it. And then, like I said, it's just it's um, it's a trial basis. You see, I had one client who took it, and she got more anxiety from it. She didn't feel good. Um, she's a highly sensitive person, and it just didn't work for her. And so we didn't we didn't further it right. But I've but she's one client out of probably thirty that I've recommended to that haven't had really good benefits. Um, it's not a magic pill. It's not an overnight thing. It's just like anything else where it's a lifestyle modification, right? You're adding this in. It's an anti-inflammatory. Um, think of it almost like taking turmeric. You know that you're going to see the benefits over time. Um, for me, it works pretty fast. Like if I'm having a stressful day, I feel anxious, um, I'll take this. And I do. I just feel like it's like I'm at a 10 and I go to like a 6. Or I'm at a 6 and I go to a 2. It, it's just nice and calming. Um, so let's see. I heard Spiritual Calling is a clean brand. Yeah, again, I haven't heard of that brand. Um, again, I would just do the research of like, where are they sourcing their, their cannabis from? Um, how are they uh, processing it? And then making sure it's free of pesticides, it's, you know, it's organic, the whole nine yards. So this, the ingredients here, MCT fractionated coconut oil, organic chocolate mint flavor, um, that is it. Okay. So let's see. Um, who's got some questions? So, I mean, the general answer is, is it for you? Well, I say you try it. If you, if you have anxiety, depression, pain, um, sleep issues, um, you know, a history of like cancer in your family, uh, an inflammatory disease, like, like an autoimmune condition where you're experiencing pain or headaches on a regular basis. This is definitely something safe to try. And I do think it's safe with breastfeeding. I do think it's safe with trying to conceive again, under the same umbrella where I say certain products are safe. It's got to still be organic. It's got to still have clean, um, ingredients, right? Take it in moderation, really pay attention to how you feel and how you respond to it. And if you are on other medications, you need to talk with your doctor about it because, like I said, it's get processed in the liver the same place a lot of your pharmaceuticals get processed, so it can alter the impact, the effectiveness of your pharmaceuticals. So you want to make sure that those are all in line, okay? Um, let's see. I'm just going to go through. Oh, here's questions. Um, okay. My lifelong friend, Dr. David Allen, can teach you more about CBD. Okay, so there we go. She linked to him. That's great. Um, Dr. B advised against CBD due to a study in mice found that detrimental effects on egg maturation development and inhibition of progesterone. The study also showed in vitro excess of proteins involved. I'm very curious to hear about your thoughts because you know inflammation in my levels are outrageous. Um, I mean, I don't want to go against your doctor by any means. I have yet to, I would love to see that study. Maybe I'll email him and ask him. Um, again, though, I would love to see the study, what product they use, because it's just like the China study when they talk about meat being toxic. It's like, well, it wasn't grass fed meat and we don't know where it was sourced from. Um, we don't know what the animals were fed and pesticides. So like the pesticide load can be a lot more dangerous than the actual product, right? So I would want to see what they were using and in what dose. Um, but also like Laura, I know you, you know, she works with me. An anti-inflammatory diet is going to do a lot more for you than adding in CBD, right? This is like an extra. This is like a supplement. This is not the end-all, be-all, fix it, okay? Just like turmeric isn't the end-all, be-all, fix it, or acai, or, you know, whatever the antioxidant of, of the flavor of the month is. This is not your end-all, be-all. This is a nice additional substance to help, right? It's not something I take every day. It's something I take when I feel like I need it more for anxiety for me. Um, for some of you, it might really help with your pain. It is a powerful anti-inflammatory. So again, Laura, I'd love to see the study because I want to know. It could have been, so, there's so many variables there. Um, but I don't think you need to necessarily add it to your mix because I feel like you're on so many powerful things for anti-inflammatory. And when in doubt, you know, if your doctor is saying no, I would trust that. You know, you're putting, like like Laura, I know you're putting a lot of time and energy into your efforts of conceiving. And so 
I wouldn't go against what your doctor's saying. Um, but I've seen it be very helpful for like menstrual pain, and I think it's helpful for endometriosis. Um, and I haven't seen it necessarily to be, it's, I don't, I can't understand why it would be harmful in a pregnancy or trying to conceive. Um, so again, I'll email Dr. Braverman and I'll find out about that study, but I don't want you to feel like you're missing out on something because there's so many other ways to reduce inflammation in the body. I think that's a really big takeaway for everyone. CBD is not the fix it. Okay. For anything. It's just another one of those elements in nature that can help us in reducing inflammation in our body. The most important way is to eat a clean diet with lots of protein, vegetables, and fat, avoiding processed foods, avoiding sugar, avoiding alcohol, avoiding too much caffeine, right? All of these things, getting a, a handle on the emotional inflammation, making sure we're sleeping enough, meditating, journaling, processing our emotions, surrounding ourselves with like-minded people who love and support us, right? All of that, most important. This just kind of helps, okay? Does that make sense? Um, if I had a kid with seizures, though, for sure, I'd be like looking into this up and down because it seems to be helpful. But my kid would also be gluten free, dairy free, soy free, sugar free, um, taking loads of, you know, fish oil. Right. I would be doing all of these other things, not just CBD oil. So just to keep that in mind that this is just one of those other things that we're talking about. But do I think it can be harmful? Not necessarily. I just want it to be from a good source. Um, Okay, um, I would love to try it, but I'm a nurse and would fail my, but you shouldn't fail your drug test because drug tests are only tasting for THC. They're not testing for CBD. So Mandy, I don't think that's correct. They're testing for THC, not CBD. Um, you can look into it. Oh, they test for the cannabinoids. Okay, so maybe I'm wrong, but I didn't know about that. Um, I thought they just tested for the THC. So um, okay, let's see. I've been curious about CBD for a long time. Thank you for this. Okay. Um, what brands? Hi, Allison. Yeah, I, was, I saw you on and I'm like, this would be so good for you, Allison. Do this one. CW Hemp. Charlotte's Web. And this is the one I like, the Everyday Plus. Allison, you should try it. I know Allison. She's, she's a, a client of mine from forever ago. Hi. Love you. Um, okay. I've been using it for three years on and off works for me. Yeah, I'm the same. Um, I used to have... I used to use dry butt and then vape or use it rancid for my gut can't handle the oil or digest it when it gets inflamed. When I vape or use rancid, um, it goes directly to my bloodstream. Oil only works when I make it with my own MCT oil. Okay, so again, learning. Everybody is different. Um, okay, I'll tag you in his post about it. Okay, yeah, do that. Thank you. I have to cycle my CBD because I have become immune. Oh, that's really interesting, Amy. Um, so that's the thing too, is like we can build up a tolerance to this stuff. That's like that's like melatonin, you know, same kind of thing where um, we don't need to overdo this or heavily rely on these things. But, you know, I think it's just such a big topic of conversation and everybody's asking about it, which is why we wanted to discuss it today. But again, I want this to remember, like you can't out supplement a shitty diet or a shitty lifestyle or shitty relationships. Those are the things that we got to work on. And then this is added. This is a cherry on top. This is a bonus. Okay. And then for all you girls trying to conceive, I'm going to read that article with Dr. Braverman and then I'll talk to him about it too because, um, you know, I'll put on my research scientist hat and see what I think and I'll let you guys know. But I don't think you're missing out if you're not taking it. Does that make sense? I think this is really good for those people that have anxiety, depression, insomnia. That population who are on pretty toxic, hardcore meds to sleep or get through the day, this is awesome for you to try. I think it's it's a really good thing for you to try to get off of the medication. So I think it's just more beneficial for you to be on a more natural substance than any of these heavy narcotics. So that's my takeaway. And let me just see Instagram. Do you guys have any questions? Let's see. Um, oh yeah, that's right. We did our um, our giveaway when we hit our five thousand followers on Instagram. Just so you guys know, posting our Instagram winners tomorrow. So check it out to see if you won. And then also, for all of you guys, today is the last day you can join my 
Ultimate Fertility Membership and get my awesome bonuses, which is, so you can join the Ultimate Fertility Membership whenever. It's an ongoing monthly membership program where you get access to all of my incredible fertility enhancing content and webinars and PDFs and workshops and guides. You do not get access to my Yes, You Can't Get Pregnant e-course, but you get access to so many other things and you get quarterly live trainings from me on fertility topics. You get meditations, mantras. It's, it's an awesome monthly membership that my team and I came up with. I'm so proud of it. I love it. But if you join by today, you get two incredible bonuses from me, a $20 gift certificate to Amy Rock Beauty, and a live Q&A with me where you can ask me any fertility enhancing question. The Q&A is happening on the 19th at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, but you could watch a recording of it if you can't make it live. You can email us your question. I'll be sure to answer it. So anyway, today is the last day you can join for those bonuses. However, you can join. It's $22 a month. I think it's like pretty much very cheap, less than a dollar a day. Um, again, you get access to thousands of dollars of content from me, plus the quarterly live trainings, plus never before released meditations and mantras and every month we have a topic like we're going to talk about like egg quality one month we're going to talk about autoimmunity one month we're going to talk about different supplements we're going to talk about um gratitude november is the month of gratitude because obviously you know it's thanksgiving it's the month of gratitude so anyway you can check it out um the link is in my bio instagram people and facebook people maybe beth will post the link for you guys who want to check it out and but the free trial is over we were doing a free trial for three days that is over so you can't get that anymore. Maybe we'll open that up again at some point, but um, maybe not. Um, but again, if you want the bonuses, you know, basically you get the, the first month for free because you get a $20 gift of Tame Your Out Beauty. So it's $22 a month, you know. Um, but if you want the bonuses, then you have to join by today. And Instagram, we're going to announce the giveaways on tomorrow. So yay, we had some awesome gifts in there. And then let me just see. Instagram, make sure I don't have any questions um, that I missed. Um, breastfeeding, I got that one. Can one that is on anxiety meds. Um, okay, so I would talk to your doctor about that, but I think it's a nice bridge to start to get off the anxiety medications too. So just talk to your doctor about it That's, or whoever's prescribing your anxiety medication. Um, okay, does it help with panic attacks? So, I mean... I've never had a panic attack, but I've had anxiety before, and for me, it really does seem to calm the nervous system. And there is some preliminary, preliminary research that shows it really calms the nervous system. So in situations like that, it can be helpful. Again, every person is gonna respond differently. This is an herb. It's just like any medication. Not everybody does it work for, right? Same kind of thing, guys. Um, okay, so um, let me just make sure. Yeah, there's the membership is posted. Okay. I think we got all our questions. So again, um, you guys know I come live every week. I think next week I'm going to come live on Wednesday because Thursday is Thanksgiving here in the States. So um, we'd also love any comments on what you guys want me to talk about in the future. You know, what do you want to hear more about? So you can post in the comments here and I'd love to be able to address whatever it is you want to hear me talk more about. And you can shoot me a private message on Instagram or on Facebook share that way too. And if you want to know more about me or my books or how to work with me, head over to amyrock.com. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Um, egg freezing, Elizabeth. Okay. Beth, put that on our topics. I do think that's a good topic of conversation to talk about. Should you freeze your eggs? Um, I have, I have opinions about that. So I would like to talk about that. All right, guys, wonderful day. Love you. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye.